Hey guys, Amanda here, subbing for Miss Elliptica 24. Today is Sunday and we are kicking off the new week for week 10. And we are sh doing a show and tell for <laughs> homemade items that we've made. And since I do a plethora of things, I decided to narrow down my topic to just alter items. So that is my main Thing I'll be showing you. So the first things I'm going to show you are my little statuaries because I did not want to go buy them but I made the god and goddess statue. This is my goddess statue. I did write goddess down here. I had to like redo the name like twice because I messed it up because I forgot letters. But no she is just made out of air dry qu clay. Not quay. Um, but no. And I did the shape that most statues I found online look like with the arms above the head. I did change it so she was pregnant because that kind of referred to me when I made her because I did make her when I was pregnant with my first son. So um, made it with air dry clay, painted her white, and that's her. And then my god statue which is like way disproportionate to her but I use them just the same. Made it the same way. Made it look little platform put God down here had to give him abs like come on now but um yeah so did the little triangle thing like most statues had the whole triangle shape thing um made him more squared than round like she was but did the same thing painted him white I guess you could have painted him gold or black or whatever you wanted to do but I chose white since it um represented like purity and stuff like that. The next thing I have is my little offering bowl. Drew the triple moon on it. Put a little pentagram in the middle of it. And then on the inside, here I have rocks in here, but um, drew the pentacle in the middle of it. Really bad, I might say, but it does what I need it to do, so I'm not too worried about it. No one else sees it but me. And then you guys now, since I've showed you but, no, that is that. And then, since I do not have a cauldron yet, and I kind of needed something to burn stuff in, so I did, like, a little cauldron. Here's my little sage bundle. It, on the inside, has the same thing, except I have sand and a coal disc in here that I'm not willing to take out and make a mess with. But I did the symbol for water and earth, air fire that's what goes around here um drawing on the curved surface is like really hard so all my lines are really funny but no I made this because I needed one and I like it um since I'm not ready to pay the money like I know cauldrons are like 20 bucks and that's not too bad for a cast iron cauldron but I'm not ready to pay that kind of money yet so <laughs> um that's what I've done I also made my altar tile and this one looks really scruffy like like, it looks really bad, but I have, like, candle wax that I've been picking off because this is used a lot. Um, but no, I did my, this is my altar tile, pentacle, pentacle, well, pentacle, can't talk today, my bad. Um, and then I put my symbol of Sagittarius as a seal on the back of it, so it's personalized to me. Um, so you can do whatever, you can put a seal on the back, you don't have to put a seal on the back, you can put your, um, zodiac sign if you want but no nope, mine's Sagittarius so I stuck that on the back and then my coolest thing that I've done that I really like I have this sitting on my um family altar but hold on let's see if I can actually get them um, but no I did um eh, I can't hold them but no I did a moon the triple goddess symbol with plates and I just took cream paint cream well I think I painted it white and then because the plates really white it didn't turn out so well so then I made it cream which is fine because the moon sometimes has a creamy color to it and this is all getting chipped off because I've been moving them around and stuff but you could you could probably put like a clear coat rattle can it with a clear coat or put a fixative on it where it won't chip and stuff. I'm not too worried about it chipping because eventually if it gets tacky enough I'll just go get something else. I just used acrylic paint 
And I think this was a Corel plate or whatever. I don't know. My dad had these plates when he was in college and then gave it to me and my husband when we got married. So I was just like, I don't use small plates like this. So I made it into my triple goddess. That's what I did with that. The next thing I made was my wand. Um, I did not use this. I think I've used it twice. And it was just not going for me. Like, this has a lot of energy because I put a lot of time and effort into making it and getting it the way I needed it to. And I just don't use it. It's kind of just an altar decoration on my family altar since me and Tyler put our time and energy into it. Because first, what I did was take a knife and I, like, whittle it down to, like, the shape I wanted it. Except when I started sanding it and stuff afterwards... I still had these big knots and lumps going across them, and they were a lot thicker. And then my husband's like, oh, let's just take a Dremel to it. So we just put the sander application on the Dremel and Dremeled all those down. So it's more uniformed than it was, but I love it still anyways. I don't use it because I don't do much for rituals or anything, or like super big elaborate rituals. Um, so... That's why I don't use it mostly. Plus it kind of feels weird to me still. Like, it's still weird. I kind of like just the pointing thing. Um, but no, here's the handle. I think this tree was, I don't know, I call it a box elder tree because it like attracts box elder bugs like there's no tomorrow. I don't know if that's like an ash tree or, I don't know, I could not tell you what tree this is though. I did get it off my dad's wood burning pile, um, but I know... This tree, because the wood burning pile we don't ever use ever, it's just kind of there. But um, and but it was there. This tree was growing in my backyard when I was growing up, so it does mean a lot to me since I know the tree and what I've done with the tree, like climb it and pick the leaves and break the branches and you know all that good stuff that you do when you're a kid. But yeah, took a drumble, made it really detailed and fine in there. So that's what I did. Um, there's a lot of bug holes in this one because it's been sitting out for like 12 years drying on that wood pile so I just filled in all the little holes and stuff with like glue wood glue would probably be better I just used Elmer's glue but it made it nice you could stain it if you wanted to and stuff like that if you guys made something like that but that is what I did I like the natural wood look to it that's what I did the next thing I made was paintings I'm not the most artistic person in the whole entire world, I don't think. My mom tells me I'm good, but whatever. But I made a god. This sits behind my god statue and on my altar, which is behind me. So I did this in a more heat or warm colors, like so your reds, yellows, orange, obviously. Because that's what God represents to me is the warmth. So also God, sun, that's why that's there. And then I did the Miss Goddess in cool colors because goddess, moon, etc. So I think I saw someone on YouTube that had paintings similar to this. Could not tell you for the life of me who I saw it on. Maybe it was Poe Moonstone that I saw it on. Um, she had Maybe she had paintings like this. Not exactly sure, but that's who gave me the idea so this is not an original idea, but I'm like, hey, I have a little bit of painting skills. I got this, right? So I did that because it gave my statues, like, a nice backdrop because I don't have, like, a tapestry that hangs over my altar that makes my wall look cool. So this kind of gives it a nice look to it when it sits behind there. And last but not least, you guys, if you watched my divination, um, divination video, there we go, um, for last week, I made my pendulum board, which I like a lot. It's just made out of paper from a sketchbook. And then I did really fancy letters, or as fancy as I can make them, because I'm really bad at, um, what is it called? When you make the letters look fancy. I don't remember off the top of my head. But, um, yeah, but that's what I did. I explained it a little bit just two pieces of paper glued together to give it like thickness but no that's all I did that's 
the small portion that would take me two hours to tell you guys about. But no, um, these are all my little homemade things. I do use them on a regular basis except my wand. That's the one thing I don't use. And maybe if you guys want to see the rest of my stuff, like my tankishers or my, like, everything else I make, maybe I'll do it on my personal channel if that's what you guys want to um, check out. Or if you want me to break down any of the items that I, like, well, not break them down, but, like, go step by step on how I came to uh, this um, final piece. It should be good, but that's all I had to show you. Um, until next time, you guys, blessed be.